Okay, in this example, we're going to solve the inequality x minus 2 less than 2x plus 6 being divided by 4. So, so here's my little recipe on when I see this kind of problem, I think, you know, there's a procedure to do it. It's just like being a, a, a baker. Um, you know, there's an order in which you do things. And the same thing for this type of inequality. So the first thing I'm thinking is, well, it would be nice to get rid of that fraction. I've got this fraction on the right side. Um, you know, fractions can sometimes be a little just tedious to deal with. So maybe if we can get rid of the fraction, that'll be, that'll be helpful. The next thing I'm going to do is I say, well, you know, I've got terms involving x. I'm going to have constants floating around. Let's get all the x's combined, and let's also combine all the constants. The last thing I want to do is get 1x all by itself, and then I'll have my, my solution. Okay, so the first thing we said was, let's get rid of this fraction. So I've got x minus 2 less than 2x plus 6 divided by 4. Well, since I'm dividing by 4, that's kind of the thing I want to go away. I wish that wasn't there, right? I wish I just had 2x plus 6 left over. I would feel a little bit uh, better in that I'm getting closer to solving the problem. Since I'm dividing by 4, I'm going to multiply both sides by 4. So make sure you add parentheses on the left side because you want to use this distributive property. If not, you'll certainly make a mistake. So 4 times x will be 4x. 4 times negative 2 will be negative 8. On the left side, the 4s will just cancel out. And we'll be left with 2x plus 6. Okay, so now I've gotten, gotten rid of the fraction. The next thing I want to do is I want to combine the terms involving x, and I want to also combine the, just the constants. So it doesn't sort of matter the order in which you do it. First, let's get the constants together. So um, I'm going to put all the x's on the left side and all the constants on the right side, just, just to pick an order. I mean, you could do it opposite. It doesn't matter. So um, you could put all the, the terms involving x on the right side and all the constants on the left. So. Okay, so if I want to keep the x's on the left, that means I'm going to move this constant over. So since I'm subtracting 8, I'm going to add 8 to both sides. Well, I'll just be left with 4x on the left side. I'll, that'll be less than 2x plus 14. And now the same thing. I want to combine all the terms involving x. Well, I said I'm going to put all the terms involving x on the left side, so... Let's, let's move this positive 2x by subtracting 2x from both sides. Well, 4x minus 2x, that's going to leave me with 2x. 2x minus 2x, well, hey, that's 0x. We still are, have our positive 14 on the right side. And now the last thing I want to do is get x all by itself. So since I'm multiplying by positive 2, I'm going to divide both sides by positive 2. So the 2s will cancel. We'll be left with x on the left side, that's less than, well, 14 divided by 2 is positive 7, and that's our solution. Recall that if you multiply or divide by a negative number, you have to flip the inequality. Nowhere did we do that in this example, but certainly something I want you to, to keep in mind and just to remember and to be aware of, of, of that fact.